Hello and welcome back to Mikey's Flight Deck. Today I will show you how you can build this gear handle for your Boeing 737 MIP panel. There are three holes in the middle panel that have to be sunk to install the backlighting panel later with 15mm hex standoffs. To install the last hex standoff that I need for the backlighting, I have also to mount uh, the front panel. And for not installing this with only one screw, I can at this moment already uh, install some more screws here. And so I also have to install this dust cover here. I have thought a while how to make this uh, cover that surrounds the handle in uh, this item here. And I came out with the idea of printing this from TPU. TPU is a material that maybe you know from the tires of radio controlled cars. And I have printed this only nearly half a millimeter thick, so it's very flexible here. And I will install it here and hopefully this will work out uh, when the handle is installed. Otherwise, I have to come out with another solution. These 3D printed parts will press the following handle construction against the acrylic layers and also clamp the TPU layer in place. These covers have a really tight fit and stay in place without any glue. Three red and green annunciators are needed. When I discovered that my 3D printer can produce gears nearly as good as my laser, I went over more and more to design these gears as 3D printed object and integrate these into my designs. So when I started designing this gear lure, I had the idea of using an acrylic rod where I hot glue three gears in place. But now, I designed this whole unit in one part that you can print out. The support structures are a little bit annoying but really fast to remove. And this is way more easier than uh, doing this with acrylic parts. And the next 3D printed part is a gear that is part of the locking mechanism. My handle will have a locking mechanism when the plane is on ground. You will see more about this later in this video and in the configuration video. And instead of screwing this gear to the acrylic side here, I designed a clip. And so you can clip the gear in place where it can rotate and lock the handle. So keep in mind when you have to install which component because when the handle is screwed together, it can be really difficult to install a component later. Forty millimeter hex standoffs are used as spacers for the two case plates.
In the following you will see in the assembling of the handle, but for a better understanding I want to explain you the mechanic behind this. First of all we have the 3D printed handle, it has a hole through it and it sits on two axes. The front one here is fixed and the other one helps the handle to move forward and backward. To bring the handle back to its position there will be a spring between these two axes here. Then I have said there will be a manual override and for this I will need a trigger here and this will be mounted into this component here and to let this component uh, go back here into the shaft there will be another spring mounted at the front here of this component and to the other axis here and then this will go in here so it can slide back and forward. The end of this component here will press a little tactile button. This button will sit inside of this cap here and because the legs of the buttons are at the other side there have to be a cable soldered to and then these cables will be routed through a hole in this cap here and back through this whole shaft to the Arduino. So the tactile switch will sit in the cap and the cap on the end of this handle here and it will be fixed with two set screws. At the end the hole will be closed here with um, this wheel here and this will be fixed with a two millimeter brass rod. I used a strong wire at the end of the spring to bring it to tension when it is inserted. Now I have to install the micro switches to the side of the handle box which should be screwed into it for a stronger connection but I made the decision to try hot glue first because it was always a nightmare for me to estimate where the switches have to be placed to find the right click spot and it was always difficult when I used those micro switches in my gauge designs. 
and on top if I would predefine where the holes uh, have to be then you have to use exactly the types of micro switches that I'm using and there are many different types on the market and maybe I hope that with this gluing method you can use any switch you want try out where it has to um, be placed and then just glue it in place where you need your switch to be. And the design of the handle is made very wide so uh, to reduce the wiggling inside the box so there is not much air between the handle itself and the surrounding box so there would not be any place for screws even the tiny two millimeter ones. I would have to change the handle design and so I try out the glue first. Let's hope for the best. So after I have completely assembled the gear lever now, I have posted some pictures of it on Instagram and immediately received an information that the lock positions here in my design don't match the positions in the real Boeing. So what is the fact here? In my design the locking mechanism closes when the plane is on ground and the handle is in the down position and it prevents the handle from moving to any other position than down. In the real Boeing when the locking mechanism is closed you are able at least to move the handle to the off position to depressurize the system but it will prevent you from moving it to the up position. At the moment I will stick to this design now but you can be sure there will be a version 2 where you will be able to move the handle at least to the off position. But for now let's install it into the MIP. Here, finally the handle is in place and makes my MIP panel complete now. The designing process was really difficult but the more easier it was to build. And one thing I'm already very happy about is the sturdiness of the whole MIP unit when I'm pulling this lure here. The background panel of the MIP is very thin in these areas here and I thought it could become a problem that it comes out when you pull the handle but no way this thing is really sturdy. As I have said I will update the locking mechanism design but for now I will upload the files so that you can download them from the member section of my website and build your own handle at home. For the upcoming design later maybe you will only have to modify the two side panels of this design here. So the last item that will be installed are the monitors and stay tuned for the configuration video of the gear handle here. And for not missing these new episodes subscribe to my channel to stay informed about any upcoming new video from me. And I hope we will see us soon back on the flight deck. Gear up, gear down, gear up, gear down.